In 1994, Sony released the first ever PlayStation, ushering the rise of Sony to the number one video game company on the planet today. With a staggering revenue of $24.9 billion in 2021 and more than 106 million active players. So, how did this most successful gaming console come to be? You'll find out in a second. This is the evolution of the PlayStation. The original PlayStation, 1994. The first ever PlayStation was released to the Japanese market on December 3, 1994. It was not until the following year that it was introduced to the US, Europe, and Australia. The PlayStation became part of the fifth generation of game consoles competing with the then-industry bigwigs, Nintendo 64 and Sega Saturn. The console's design, spearheaded by Ken Kutaragi, brought new developments to the video game industry, including CDs instead of cartridges, which could store a lot more data, memory cards to save game progress, and 3D rendering. Plus, it featured various notable games. The original PlayStation was an instant hit, to say the least, as it quickly became gamers' favorite console and the first ever console to ship 100 million units by 2005. However, the production of this legendary console ceased in March 2006. The PS1 2000 A little over five years later, in July 2000, Sony released its second PlayStation, the PS1. This new version was not only a lot smaller and rounder, but featured updated UI graphics. The PS1 was also a huge success, outselling all other consoles released that year, including its follow-up, PlayStation 2. Sony did release a variation of this PS1 in 2002, known as the Combo Pack, featuring an LCD screen, but discontinued it two years later. PlayStation 2 2000 2000 ushered in another massive PlayStation hit. The PlayStation 2 is the best-selling console to date, with over 155 million units sold. The PS2 featured 32 megabyte system RAM and 4 megabyte video RAM, DVD support, USB ports, upgraded memory, and a new black finish. What no other competitor had anticipated, though, was the backward compatibility. Basically, you could play most PS1 games on your new PS2 console. The PS2 was part of the sixth generation consoles competing with Microsoft's Xbox, Nintendo's GameCube, and Sega's Dreamcast. Gamers at the time enjoyed various games including Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City, San Andreas, God of War 1 and 2, and Final Fantasy X. PlayStation 2 Slimline 2004 in its quest to create even smaller consoles, Sony released the PlayStation 2 Slimline in 2004. The version was smaller, quieter, and came with something new, an Ethernet port. PlayStation 3 2006 Sony's spirit of innovation and improvement played out again on November 11, 2006, with the introduction of the PS3 in the Japanese market. Its North American presentation came a week later. Let's talk sales and features. So, the PS3 sold over 80 million units globally and had new specs including a Wi-Fi network, a 20 gigabyte interior hard drive, and an HDD installation capability. But that's not the whole of it. PS3 introduced gamers to the PlayStation Network, allowing them to download games and use streaming services like Netflix and YouTube. Not to forget, this console brought forth the PlayStation Plus membership which gave gamers early access to betas and game discounts. Did you know that the DualShock 3, the first wireless version of Sony's long-running controller, came with the PS3? PlayStation 3 Slim 2009 In September 2009, Sony released the PS3 Slim, a smaller and lighter console than its predecessor. The PS3 Slim seemed to keep giving, as it also consumed way less power and was cooler and quieter than the original version. PlayStation 3 Super Slim 2012 With the Mayan calendar predicting the end of the world on December 21st, 2012, Sony gave people reason to enjoy their last days by introducing the PS3 Super Slim. The front slot loading disc tray was done away with and replaced with a sliding lid that covered the optical drive. But perhaps the most noticeable things were that it was slimmer and three pounds lighter than its predecessor. 
PlayStation 4, 2013. With Armageddon failing to happen in 2012, Sony jumped at the opportunity to continue being the world's largest video game maker by introducing the PS4 in North America on November 15, 2013. And how was the reception? Well, the PS4 sold 1 million units on the first day of launch, thus becoming the fastest-selling console in 24 hours. PlayStation 4 Slim 2016 the PS4 Slim was yet another step in Sony's direction of making smaller and lighter consoles. Notable upgrades included the addition of 5 GHz Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.0, and USB 3.1 support. PlayStation 4 Pro 2016 The PS4 Pro launched on November 10, 2016 with a notable specs bump. Specifically, it supported 4K gaming capabilities. PlayStation 5 2020 The latest iteration of the PlayStation, PS5, came in 2020. It is the most sophisticated model, thanks to an array of advanced features and functionalities. For lack of better words, the PS5 leaves a good first impression. The new controller is incredible! Games load faster, AK resolution, and the console has a more streamlined user interface than the PS4. And you probably won't fail to notice the DualSense controller, because it doesn't look anything like its predecessor, the DualShock controller. But even with all that, the main problem with this model is getting your hands on it. That's right, it is very hard to get your hands on a new PS5. Thanks to demand outstripping supply, the ongoing chip shortage, and uncontrolled reseller restocking. Now, which one is your favorite PlayStation? Drop your answers in the comments section. Enjoyed the video? Why don't you subscribe to Silicon Wiz for more content like this? With that, it's a wrap. You've been fantastic. Bye.